Hey, this is Greg Ryder, and I'm at the Low Santa Monica in beautiful, sunny Southern California. I'm at the Next Gen crowdfunding event, and inside are some of the most powerful people in the crowdfunding industry, actually the founders of the crowdfunding, the people that actually helped write the legislation to get the laws passed. Then they're talking about how impactful this is going to be on our society and make our world a better place perpetuating free enterprise and capitalism. So coming up, I'm going to be interviewing some of these movers and shakers in the space. So stay tuned as we interview and bring you Next Gen Crowdfunding live. Hey, this is Greg Ryder, CEO of Angel Investors Network. I'm at the Next Gen Crowdfunding event in Southern California. It's been an incredible event, and I'm with with I'm with I'm with Sam. And a lot of people refer to Sam as the father of the Reggae Plus, right? Well, what one person does. I'm not going <laughs> to name him to protect his. Uh, no, I was pretty involved in the regulatory process with the SEC, and I pushed pretty hard and visibly, so people took notice of that. So they. And people gave me a lot of credit for it. So. That's awesome. Yeah. So he's a security attorney. He's helped get the laws pushed through to help this crowdfunding. So I wrote a book called Saving America One Crowd at a Time because I believe capital formation was broken. It's been broken for decades. And I, you're on the same page with that. So tell me what you thought of this event that, that uh, Aubrey's put on today and this whole, this whole next-gen group has been. What did you think of the event? I, I think it's an absolutely amazing event as an event. I mean, the energy here, the, the, uh, the attendance was fantastic. And to me, what it really proves is what I know and what I hear, which is this is a new area. I'm an expert. I live in it. But the fact of the matter is most people really don't know about it. And, and this is really the first step in really exposing people to it, especially entrepreneurs. Um, it's, it's, it's really critical. And unfortunately, what you read in the media, and I don't care whether it's Forbes or The Economist, you're not getting accurate information. You're not getting detailed information. So these conferences, this one in particular, really serves a valuable function. In, in, in less than a day, you just you get a good high-level overview and some basics. And, and I think uh, it's, a, it's a real service. to Well, to that and the quality of people oh that they God. brought in here. It's like this is one of the best, highest quality people I've ever seen. I mean, you got guys worth hundreds of millions of dollars sitting in that room right, right. and funding companies and making investments and the movers and shakers. Right. And so what would be the number one piece of advice that you would give an entrepreneur that goes, look, I need some capital. I'm considering crowdfunding. What, where would you tell them to start? Well, that's, it's difficult because it really depends on where their business is, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer your question as best I can. Um, I think the most important thing is to really, you need to have you know, a clear vision and a clear focus on your business model. And uh, you, really, you really need to have that nailed down really well before you start going out and asking strangers or even friends uh, for capital because it's, it's a real responsibility uh, taking somebody else's money. It's not, it's not a game. <laughs> and, and so, but, you, but just to be successful, you, you really need to you know, really do a thorough vetting and, and, and get outside independent advice and input on your business plan, your business strategy, before you take it on the road. And go See, now I didn't coach you saying that, did I? No. <laughs> so, no. so because every video I do, yeah. everybody I talk to, everybody, every advice I'm giving entrepreneurs is to seek the counsel, get the advice, get investor grade, pr present it from a marketing perspective. Because entrepreneurs just go off the handle, pitching the wrong guys, pitching people that don't care. They don't have investor. They haven't done their due diligence. They're breaking securities laws, and it's just like they're just they're just wasting their time. So I love it when somebody like this validates what I'm saying all the time. You want to reach out to as many people in as many areas as possible. I mean, that's just rule number one, rule number two, rule number three. You can't get enough uh, review, you know, input and views, and you can get plenty of it with really not even spending any money. I mean, just for example, you know, Angel, uh, Angel Associations, and 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 that sort of thing. There are plenty of people out there. We'll take a look, they'll look at it, and they'll give you, you know, valuable, credible insight and suggestions. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's you know, it's, it's a must. So, so let me ask you one last question, and we'll go down to the reception here. So if you were to give advice to somebody who, they're watching Shark Tank TV show, they got some money in the bank, they're high net worth, they're making, and they're just now getting exposed to crowdfunding and this idea that they can invest, and they're going, I want to jump in, what would you give them the advice to the investor? Well, I think for the investor, I mean, it's like any other investment. Generally, you need to be selective, number one. Um, and, and number two, in crowdfunding, it depends on the type of crowdfunding, but you're dealing with higher risk companies. 
So you need to understand going in that, that it is high risk and, and really if you're dealing with startups, the best strategy is to invest small amounts of money in a lot of them. Um, because, you know, statistically, you, you know, maybe out of 10, 15, 20, you're going to have only one success. So, you know, don't bet the farm on any one. Um, and it's really diversification and, and do, your, do your due diligence. Uh, no, and, and that's the great advice. We give that all the time. Investors ask me, well, well what's the risk? It's 100%. It's always 100%, right? It's always 100%. Exactly. But here's what's cool about the crowdfunding and the new laws you help enact is in the old days, I've been doing this since I'm 21 years old, I'm 52, you know, it was twenty five, fifty, dollars $100,000 investment was kind of like the minimum. You really couldn't even get in a deal unless you could do that. So if I want to diversify and get in 20 deals, I got to have $400,000 or so that I want to put into these high risk, high return deals and the net worth. But now high net worth investors, even accredited investors could put 1,000 in 20 deals just to play. Get to know it. And then when you find that one deal that you maybe like, maybe you put 25 or 50 grand in that deal. So it's really cool what's exactly. going on. Exactly. And we're in the same page that this is a paradigm shift in the way capital formation is made. It's going to create the economy. It's going to stimulate the economy. It's going to create what I call torrential downpour economics. And you have to wait for another video to figure out what that is. But I want to say thank you, Sam. Appreciate thank everything you you've done. And until then, do what I do. Wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and tell somebody you love them.